Hello students, we will start with the concept of customer value. According to Robert W. Woodruff, he defines customer value as a customer perceived performance for and evaluation of these products attributes, attribute performance and consequences rising from use that facilitates or block achieving the customer's goal and purposes in huge situations. Now the difference between what customer gets from a product and what he or she has to give in order to get it is known as customer value. Customer value can be categorized in product performance, product line, delivery, installation and customer relationship. So this is the figure. So product performance means various features of the particular product how easily you you can use that particular product or service suppose there are two apps share khan app is there zero the app is there and if majority of the people just example i'm taking majority of the people are thinking that the zero the app is uh, more user friendly than share khan app so how ease of use then how that product or service is reliable so n number of features will be there from that we can judge the product performance that can lead to ultimate customer value. Next is product price. So what is initial cost of the product then what is distribution cost and what is life cycle cost. Life cycle cost means if we will see in the coming lectures that product life cycle concept. So initially the product it has introduction stage then it, add, it will go to the growth stage then maturity stage and after that the product declines from the market each and every life cycle of the product like introduction growth maturity and declination at each and every stage there can be different prices for the particular product so that is called as life cycle cost so this is associated with product price and again ultimately product price is related to customer value Third customer value parameter is delivery and installation. So availability of the product, ease of installment of the product or service and ease of the service are for the delivery and installation. Majority delivery and installation deals with the service factor. And last customer value category is customer relationship. So what is the image of the particular brand in customer's mind, the billing process where it is, whether it is easy or not and the point of contract to the company so that constitutes to the customer relationship so this is about customer value next concept is value exchange now here we can see that value as a perception of benefit so what value means value means the perception of benefit from a particular product or service to the customer or consumer so company is giving product product or service to the consumer and consumer is perceive, perceiving perce there is a perception of benefits from that product or service that is called as customer value and in return consumers are returning money in terms of money the company is getting benefits so value is a perception of benefits rather than something that is material it may or may not be quantifiable or it may be having highly valued or limited value. It may also subconscious rather than consciously assessed. The only time where there is no value exchange is where one person is captive and hence bent to the will of the other. In an effective transaction between people, there is an exchange of value where one can get something out of the exchange even if it is relatively small. So this is about value exchange concept. Next is difference between market and marketing. Now very simple definition and differentiate. First we will start with the concept market. Market is any space 
within which the trade takes place between the buyer and seller for a well-defined product. This space can be a produce of market, a shop, internationally between two countries over an internet and all. Whether, whereas marketing involves all those activities that facilitates the trade. This includes the various activities identifying the consumer's needs such as the market research and those activities that satisfy consumer's needs, maybe packaging or distribution and so on. Marketing activities therefore support the marketing of goods and services. So this is the concept. Now we will read or try to understand the difference. First is the definition. So market is defined as an arrangement whereby buyers and sellers meet each other to conclude the transaction between them. And marketing is a function that identifies the human and social needs and try to satisfy them. Now what is the market? So market can be a place or it can be a set means if it is in the form of digital market then it is a set and marketing is nothing but a set of processes with various activities. Now what is this process? Market is a process which fixes the price of the commodities through the demand and supply forces and marketing is a process that analyzes, creates, informs and delivers value to the consumer. Now we have seen what is value. Value is perceived benefits that customer is getting from a product or service. Now that way market is a narrow concept compared to the marketing and marketing is the wider concept if you compare to market. Parameter is consistency, market varies by products, place, factors and so on and the marketing philosophy throughout the world remain same or constant. Market is a trade between two parties and marketing is link between customer and the company. So this is about the difference between market and marketing. Now next is we will try to learn the key mar consumer markets. Now before consumer key consumer markets, we will try to learn the concept of markets. So we have seen the difference between market and marketing. A market is defined as the sum total of all the buyers and sellers in a area or region under the consideration. The area may be anywhere in earth or countries or religions sorry regions or states or cities the value cost and price of items traded are as per the forces of supply and demand in the market so maybe if demand is more and supply is less the prices will be high if the supply is more and demand is less prices can be dropped down the market may be physical entity or it may be virtual market it may be local or global or it may be perfect market or imperfect market. The concept of market pertains to any structure that allows buyers and sellers to exchange any type of goods, services and information. So digital platforms such as Amazon website where you can, there are n number of buyers and n number of sellers they are coming together. So that is, that can be example of a market here uh, in Pune your Monday or Ramsuk market that can be example of your market or your FC road or any shopping mall that can be example of market even at villages Athode Bazaar that can be also an example of market so uh, the scope of the marketing activities depend but the market remains the definition remains sales now what is competition the competition refers to the rivalry among the sellers trying to achieve the goals such as increasing profits or increasing the market shares or increasing the sales volume by varying the elements of marketing price like product price place and promotion. Now according to Merriam Webster he defines the competition as the efforts of two or more parties 
acting independently to secure the business of a third party by offering the most favorable terms to the seller to the buyers now as far as these key consumer markets are concerned the key consumer markets that is business to consumer market p2c market can be divided into four part uh, consumer markets then business market then global market and non profit market now we will start with b2c that is consumer markets companies selling mass consumer goods and services such as juices or cosmetics or fmcg products like fast moving consumer goods athletic shoes and air travels spend a great deal of time establishing a strong brand image by developing a superior product and packaging ensuring its availability and backing it with engaging communications and reliable services that is about consumer markets business markets companies selling business goods and services often face well in form professional buyers are skilled at evaluating competitive offerings business buyers buy goods to make or resell a product to others at a profit business marketers must demonstrate how their products will help achieve higher revenue to help lower cost advertising can play a role but the sales for the price and the company's reputation may play a larger role in the business markets next is global markets companies in the global marketplace must decide which countries to enter how to enter like an exporter licensers or joint venture partners contract manufacturers or solo manufacturers etc how to adopt product and services features to each country how to price products in different countries and how to design communication and different cultures in that particular country they face different requirements for buying and disposing of property cultural language legal and political differences and currency fluctuations yet the payoff can be huge so this is about global market last non profit and government markets companies selling to non profit organizations with limited purchasing power may be some temples or churches or universities charitable organizations and government agencies need to price carefully lowering uh, selling prices affect the features and quality the seller can build into the offerings much government purchasing calls for bids and buyers often focus on practical solutions and favor the lowest bid in the absence of other external factors so this is about key consumer markets next concept in the introduction of marketing chapter is market places so market places are another version of business market where organization purchases raw materials natural resources and components of other products for their resale or maybe for use in manufacturing another product business markets are generally made up for businesses which buy product and raw materials for their own operations an online marketplace or maybe online e-commerce marketplace is a type of e-commerce site where the products or service information is provided by multiple third parties whereas transactions are proceed by the marketplace operator online marketplaces are the primary type of multi channel and can be considered as simple and convenient portal to streamline the production processes so marketplaces next concept is meta market now the meta market by it can be defined it, it, it has been defined by ej kelly the synthesis of 
all managerial traditional scientific social and historical foundation of marketing so this term was first coined by e j kelly thus meta market is an attempt to widen the horizons of the marketing concept by covering the non profit organization the best example of meta marketing can be selling family planning ideas or the idea of prohibition a meta market will bring all the buyers and sellers at one place or one and only one purpose instead of giving multiple products to one consumer meta markets bring together different consumers who need the necessarily differentiate between closely related products meta market is a thus place where everything connected with a certain market can be found uh, let us say a car selling in meta market would be a website that sells car but also you can find the uh, car parts or add on for cars or colors of cars mechanics reviews etc put simply meta market of a certain market is a market where you can find everything about that market besides other markets that are strongly connected to the market meta market thinkers never replicates the marketing mix of the market leader on his predecessor going as far as away as possible from the success secret may be less dangerous route to take this version of meta marketing says that it is better to do something different rather than follow what the industry is doing s ramchandran highlights in this meta market concept such insights inevitably precedes creating a new competitive paradigm including rewriting the rule book itself and changing the rules of the game in an increasingly competitive and transactional arena marketing companies will have to ponder more and more about just not offering that is different or better but it is an expression of marketing insights then only you can be survival in this competitive world so this is the concept of meta markets now we will start with the basic concept of digital market as this chapter is of introduction to marketing all the concepts we are studying briefly digital marketing is the marketing of products or services using digital technologies so same marketing concept but using digital technologies mainly on the internet but also including mobile phones displaying advertisement and any other digital media digital marketing is the component of component of marketing that uses internet and online based digital technologies such as desktop computers mobile phones and other digital media platforms to promote the products and services its development during the 90s and 2000 changed the way brands and businesses use technology for marketing as digital platform become increasingly incorporated into marketing plans and everyday life as people increasingly use digital devices instead of visiting to uh, physical shops digital marketing campaigns have become prevalent employing the combinations of the SEO that is search engine optimization then SEM that is search engine marketing then content marketing influencer marketing uh, then various concepts like uh, data driven marketing campaign marketing e-commerce marketing social media marketing social media optimization email direct marketing displaying advertisement then ebooks and optimal disk and games have be become common places now digital market extends to non internet channels that provides digital media such as televisions 
mobile phones through SMS and MMS, callbacks and on hold mobile ringtones, the extension of non-internet channel differentiates digital marketing from online advertisement. So there is a difference between digital marketing and online advertisement. Now we will see the non-linear, so new non-linear marketing approach. Non-linear marketing is a type of interactive marketing, is a long-term marketing approach which builds on the businesses collecting information about an internet's users online activities and trying to be visible in multiple areas. Unlike traditional marketing techniques which involves direct one-way messaging to consumers like uh, through print media or radio advertisement or television, non-linear digital marketing strategies are centered on reaching prospective consumers across the multiple online channels. Combined with the higher consumer knowledge and the demand for more sophisticated consumer offerings, this change has forced many businesses to rethink their outreach strategy and adopt or incorporate omnichannel non-linear marketing techniques to maintain sufficient brand exposure engagement and reach. Non-linear marketing strategies involve efforts to adopt the advertising to different platforms and to tailor the advertising to different individual buyers rather than large coherent audience. Now these various tactics may include search engine optimization, social media marketing, video marketing, email marketing, blogging, affiliating marketing, website marketing, paid search or contextual advertisement, then uh, SEM that is search engine marketing. Now regarding to brand awareness, one of the key objective of this modern digital marketing is to raise the brand awareness. The extent to which the consumers and the general public are similar with the recognition of the particular brand. Brand awareness as one of the fundamental dimensions of brand equity. It is often considered to be prerequisite of consumers buying decision as it represents the main factor for buying a brand in consideration set. Brand awareness can also influence consumers perceived risk assessment and their confidence in the purchase decision due to uh, familiar familiarities uh, with the brand and its characteristics. Recent trends show that businesses and digital marketers are prioritizing the brand awareness, focusing more on the digital marketing, efforts on cultivating and brand recognition and recall than the previous years. This is evidenced by a 2019 content marketing Institute study which found that 81% of digital marketers have worked on enhancing the brand recognition over the past year. Digital marketing strategies may include the use of one or more online channels and various techniques may be omnichannel to increase the brand awareness among the consumers. Building brand awareness may involve various methods. First is SEO. Now what is SEO? Search engine optimization. The search engine optimization technique may be used to improve the visibility of the business websites and brand related content for common industry related search queries. The importance of search engine optimization is to increasing brand awareness is set to correlate with the growing influence of search results and search features like featured stipple tells, knowing knowledge panels and local SEO on consumer behavior. What is SEM? Search Engine Marketing. SEM also known as PPC advertising involves the purchase of 
add space prominent visible position a top search results pages and websites search ads that is search advertisements have been shown to have a positive impact on brand recognition brand awareness and conversion generally 33% of researchers who click on paid advertisement do so because they directly respond to their particular search query social media marketing 70% of the marketers list increasing the brand awareness as their number one goal for marketing on social media platform facebook instagram twitter youtube etc are the listed as the top platforms currently used by the social media marketing teams as in 2011 linkedin has been added as one of the most used social media platform by the business leaders for their professional network building capabilities content marketing now 50% of the marketers believes personalized content brand centered blogs articles social updates videos landing pages improves the brand recall and engagement now which strategies you can develop for digital marketing one of the major changes that occurred in traditional marketing was the emergence of the digital marketing this leads to reinvention of the marketing strategies in order to adopt this major change in traditional marketing as digital marketing is dependent on the technology which is ever ever evolving evolving and fast changing the same feature should be expected from digital marketing developments and strategies so there should be ever evolving and fast changing this portion is an attempt to qualify or segregate the notable highlights existing and being used as of press time so you have to focus on segmentation influencer marketing online behavior advertisement collaborative environment data driven advertising remarketing game advertisement etc now next part is uh, the various channels so digital marketing channels are systems based on the internet that can create accelerate uh, transmit then product value from the producer to the consumer terminal through digital networks so affiliated marketing that can be email marketing or video advertisement sms marketing inbound marketing sponsored marketing content marketing etc now what are various benefits from social media marketing so possible benefits of social media marketing may include the it allows companies to promote themselves to larger diverse audiences that uh, they could not reach through this traditional type of marketing such as on phones or email based on advertisement then marketing on most of the social media platform comes at little uh, or at approximately uh, no cost making it uh, accessible to virtually any size of businesses it accommodates personalized and direct marketing that uh, targets uh, specific demographics and markets companies can engage with uh, consumers directly very easily allowing them to obtain the feedbacks and resolve issues almost immediately ideal environment for a company to conduct a marketing research then it can be used as meaning of obtaining information about the competitors and would boost the competitive advantages social platforms can be used to promote brand events deals and news also social platforms also can be used to offer incentives in the form of loyalty points and various types of discounts so this was about the uh, benefits uh, of digital marketing the concept of digital marketing and what can be done in digital marketing
in the next lecture we will learn brick and click model in detail